first off, I want to thank Sammy for sending these to me. These little, they call them nightcaps. So that's a little fun play on words there, but this blue one right here, that is a collet keeper. So if you have a Tormach or whatever, you want to make sure you always keep a tool in the collet so it doesn't deform your collet. Also, he makes this dial indicator holder. So you've seen me before, I have to take, I have a ring light on the spindle of the Tormach and I have to take that thing completely off to put my mag base on the side of the spindle because that's the only part that's not painted and it just has a better hold. So this fixes that problem and this thing is freaking sweet. So now I don't have to take my ring light off and all I have to do is put this straight up in the spindle, check the alignment of the vise and go on with my day. It's much quicker than anything else that I've found. So thank you Sammy for sending me those. And his shop is called Disability Lab and you can find these things with the link here or it's in the video description below. So here it is, basically I am making this right here, but it's going to be a box basically. These, This box is going to hold uh, controls for air suspension. This guy is putting uh, like the airbag suspension on his uh, Chevy pickup truck and he wants something to hold the controls, the switches and stuff, so that's what this is going to be. And he wanted it this size and just almost exactly like this, just longer and have a pocket in it. So that's what we're doing here. So I wanted to do this outside like outlining right here with a steep spot drill, but it didn't work out like I wanted to and I figured that out right off the bat. So I figured I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do the same thing but with a very small ball end mill. So I got it all done and it didn't turn out too bad. A few things didn't go as planned. The little outline chamfer in the middle here, not really a chamfer but a engraving, 
it was supposed to be done with a spot drill and I didn't really like how it turned out as you saw previously in the video so I went ahead and got a uh, well, I already had a 3 30 second ball end mill and I made this it turned out a lot better than it, it would have with the spot drill so that's that's a plus so this thing here it is a cosmetic item it's going to be used it's going to it's going to be seen um, I'm pretty sure he's going to put holes in the center here for the controls for his air suspension so I didn't I mean I wanted to clean it up and get all the tool marks out of it as, as best I could and I use a little bit of I get the big tool marks out with like 120 grit and then I clean it up with 320 or 400 grit sandpaper and it, it turns out pretty good one other thing that's worth noting is when I went around this corner right here before and uh, when it was set like this I went around that and it left a radius right here. Well, I, I didn't like that radius being there. It, it didn't look right. The emblem didn't look right. I mean, I'm not a Chevy guy, but it just didn't look right. So I couldn't have that. So that's when I went ahead and took a little bit off the tops here. And that cleaned it up and that makes it look exactly like it should. So I think that's it for now. So thanks for watching.